Have you just bought a new gun? Do you know how to take it apart and put it together? In this film, we're gonna show you how to take a gun apart and put it together, the different brands. Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today we're gonna to go through lots of different guns and we're gonna go through how to take them apart and put them together. Because over the last few weeks, and some people have said, oh, I've just bought this gun. They didn't show me how to put it together. It's really hard. The gun is really stiff. So I'm gonna go through how you put a new gun together. Now, I've got on here, I've got a Yield It's Pro. I've got a Blazer F16. I've got a Browning 525. I've got a Beretta Silver Pigeon. I've got a Blazer F3 and I've got an ATA. And each gun has different ways of putting them together. So a Browning is, is got more of a hinge pin. So if I take the 525 apart, the Browning has got a pin that goes there. So when you put the bowels over it, they've got the lug and it goes in there and it's like that. When you buy a brand new gun, the gun shopper, whoever you buy them from, should be telling you that you need to put between two and 3,000 shells through that gun before they loosen up. They will be really, really stiff out of the box. They are designed to be stiff. So if you buy one and a month later and you've only shot a 500, 750 shells through it and it's really stiff, don't think to yourself, this is wrong, this is complaint. It's not. 90% of guns, you have to go through them. And you have to, they go through a, a easing in period. The Beretta, which is, I'm, I'm picking these two because they're the most common two guns. The Beretta has got a lug there. And if you look at how they actually go together, the, the barrels fit into that lug like that and if you look they go into like that and you close that and the gun closes like that so that is how and if you if, I, if you look carefully like that that is how each each of those two guns fit so you've got the top lever there the top lever is held over by a little piece of metal there so if you push that that makes the top lever come back. On a browning, the top lever has the little lug there that you lift up like that. So again, if I push that, that makes the top lever come across. So that is how you put those two together. I'm gonna to be honest, if you do have a problem, the best way of doing it is put the barrel onto your toe like that and gently push the top lever across and feed the barrel the stock onto the barrel. So it will literally just feed in like that. And then when you put the, the, the fore end on, you've got a little lug in there, which you've got a piece of metal there, and that goes in there like that. So that comes over like that, and that goes across there. Beretta, again, same thing. I push that across, that feeds in, like that and it closes up there if you do have problems again put it onto your toe put your fingers underneath the action without closing your fingers in the action and roll it around like that so again if i put the browning together that goes together like that and that the fore end which is this that goes in there and again most people most of the guns they have it that pulls out like that and it comes out like that sometimes you may put the fore end on like that and it's stiff it just needs a gentle firm tap like that and again the beretta has a slightly different lever the breath is slightly smaller and it's a little bit stiffer to get the breath one off but again they all just go on with a little firm tap what you must must do is make sure that that is closed like that not stuck out like that because otherwise that falls off 
And then I'm going to go to the ATA because the ATA is built very similar to a Beretta and it is almost copied off a Beretta. With the ATA, you've got a little button there that you push in and the forend comes off like that. And then push the top lever across and it rolls off. It is built very much like a Beretta. In like that, there. And then that goes on like that. The Blaza, again, the Blaza is different again. It's got the button on the end of the forend and that pushes, I'm gonna be honest, Expensive guns generally will have that there rather than in the middle. It's only really the Brettas and the Brownings and the Marukus that have the lever there to pull the forehand off. So that comes off like that. And then again, if you look, again, another very slightly different, similar to the Beretta, but the German manufacturers tend to have a longer action there. And if you look at the way they come, this is a lot more finer on the German guns. So it's a little bit more delicate to put the guns, to put them in there. And that's because on the F3s, all of the barrels and the stocks are made to fit every gun. And again, this is sprung there. So you do that and you have to, this, these you tend to have to push on a little bit harder. The F16s, very similar way, top end there, gun comes out and it rolls off. And again, this has got a type of lug like the Beretta. So if you look there, that little hinge pin there fits around like that. So it goes in there like that. And then you've got, I'm gonna use the Eel, it's pro now, but this is the boss style action. So a Pratsy will open the same as this. Um, a boss will open the same as this. They're very thin there. Again, you've got the lever in the middle of the forend there. You push the top lever across and that comes down. If you look, when you open this compared to any of the others, you open it and it automatically opens itself where the others it doesn't. So that's the difference between the boss action and the rest of them is they literally fold off like that. So again, if you look at the way they're built, you have to line them in there like that. When they're actually used and when they've shot a fair bit, they're actually very easy to open and shut and put together. So again, and that's why if you look at my original Yield It's film, my fake Parazzi film, that is why anyone that says to the, about the yield it's pros everyone anyone that says that they are just a cheap turkish manufacturer is wrong because the yield it's pro is built very much like almost pretty much a, a, exactly like a parazzi so this is exactly what i said in that original film it is a parazzi but half the price because the whole idea of it is exactly like that and all you've got to do is look at it. And I know a lot of you now, you're starting to use your, them. A lot of you are thinking, yeah, it is identical. So comment below, comment if you think I'm right. So that is my film of how to put a new gun. I'd love to hear, have you bought a gun recently? Have you had problems at putting it together in the box? Did your local gun shop or shooting school help you? And this is why I say, when you're buying a gun, don't go to your local gun shop, go to your local shooting school, buy a gun within that lesson because the instructor will show you how to put it together, how to clean it, the whole basis of buying that gun. Whether that gun is 500 pounds or 50,000 pounds, they will go through the whole story, the whole service of buying that gun. Please comment below, please comment if you feel I've missed out on anything that should be in how to put your gun together or how to take your gun apart. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Don't forget, hit that big subscribe button. And don't forget, in two weeks' time, we will be at Newbury Showground at the Newbury Show. So come and see us. First time a gun shop or a shooting school has been at that show. Give Oxford Gun Company or Austin Shooting Grounds a visit and I hope we'll see you again soon.